All right, here we go. I just got done with this. Uh, I kind of messed up. I was gonna, I was gonna walk y'all through the the taper. RJ, you need to know how to use the taper attachment. Um, uh, here it is, right here, and I just got to using it to make. I get three successive passes on this. This guy right here. One, two, three. It tapers one hundred thousandths over. Well, here, let me show you the print, and I'll show you how I did it. Use a little bit of math. I got a I had a little bit of water spill. A little water. But so I had a print, and it is two point seven, two point six over. One foot eight and three eighths of an inch. And what I did was, um, hold on here, let me show you. I drew it up in Bobcad. You can't really see it. It's so it's so tiny that there. There's my lines. One line two lines and I had Bobcad tell me what that angle was 0 0.141 so what I did was I went over to the to the back of the Axelson 0 0.141 is tricky because the Axelson is is in di divisions of a quarter of a degree or 0 0.250 so what I did was 0 0.141 is about right there. If that was if that one, if that zero was on that notch, that's 25. So and I also swept it with my indicator along the length of that to figure out that's what I got. So what you got to do is you tighten these nuts down here. Tighten those nuts down. Bingo, bingo. And this thing pulls on the slide right here and moves the cross slide in and out. And you can actually, you can actually watch it. You can put a dial indicator like I have right here you could put a dial indicator wind that over swing that over just like that and this thing as it goes in the Z direction this thing will you can see it creep 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 so what you're doing is you're moving 25 or I'm sorry 50 thousandths of an inch from here all the way to there's the blend point right there so it's done I sanded it I got a little bit of chatter right there that I'd like to get out. And that step is a little bit, but I think that's acceptable. It's gonna stick down in a hole. Shoot some, I don't know what it is. It's the, the end of the nozzle thing goes on it. I'll show you what goes on it. This little slurry nozzle, they call it, little slurry nozzle. This guy, this old guy, it goes on. So, that ought to finish that project up. I'm thinking about having a giveaway. I think I need to, I don't know. I don't know, it's my, the lens is foggy because it's uh, humid here in Oklahoma today. Um, that's what I had to do. I did uh, little brackets for that. tank that fishing tank thing outside but I'm thinking about polishing this uh, this little needle thing up needle calling the customer and telling them that it's done and going home for the day cleaning up this stainless and maybe going and getting the boat ready for an excursion RJ but I get uh, 
I get the boy today here in a little bit, so I'm gonna sign out. This needle I left over at my buddy's shop last Friday. Big CNC shop, nice shop. Uh, I went today to go pick it up, and uh, yeah, it wasn't done. And I'll tell you, I could have done this in, seriously, chucked it, tailstock, G71, boom, boom. I could have probably done this thing in, uh, with a uh, chuck jaw change, sliding the tailstock forward. I probably could have done this thing in, with chuck jaw change, probably 45 minutes. Fighting a little chatter along the way on a CNC lathe. I picked it up at his shop at like 8.05. I was here at 8.45, started working on it at 8.45, and it is now 11.30, and I'm done. So, pays to be able to do that stuff manually when your buddies huh, give you the, the shaft. It's, it's all, it's all, it's sticky. It's it's humid. I'm gonna sign out, polish my shaft, and I'm gonna get out of here and go get the boat ready. Bonfire at the river.